Hey guys, Brent from KrugerFarms.com checking in again. We're talking about bait caster reels, kind of why you need to spend more money and what you get when you do spend more money. So uh, obviously everybody's heard ball bearings. Ball bearings, the more you have, the better it is. Well, that's true to a certain extent. The biggest difference is the quality of the ball bearings. Some companies just put ball bearings in reels and they don't necessarily make sense in certain spots or maybe they don't or they aren't quality ball bearings so make sure you get a reel that not only has a higher count of ball bearings but make sure you ask about the quality of the ball bearings and where they're put because that makes more of a difference than the amount of the ball bearings so one of the other common questions we get asked is gear ratio why do i need a higher speed why do i need a lower speed gear ratio uh, just to back up a second so everybody knows gear ratio is for every time i turn this handle one revolution how many times does that spool turn? So if it's a five to one gear ratio, if I turn that once, that turns five times. So a little background. Uh, gear ratio is pretty simple. A slower gear ratio I'm gonna use when I'm throwing a crankbait or a swim bait or something like that where I want it to slow down. I don't wanna have to force myself always to slow down and I don't wanna be able to go fast at all. So cranking, you wanna go a little slower unless you're throwing a rattle bait or something like that. Um, high speed gear ratio, very good for flipping, very good for buzz baits, good for baits that you wanna move quick or you wanna get out of there and move to your next spot and make your next cast quick. Uh, a very versatile gear ratio is around the 6.5 to one gear ratio. And a high speed right now, they're making up to 9.0 to one gear ratios. And then low speed is around five to one gear ratio. All right, so now I'm gonna talk a little bit about when to use a bait caster. A lot of people use spinning for a majority of fishing, but make sure when you're throwing a bigger bait or you wanna be able to control your cast a little more, you go with a bait caster. Uh, spinning is great, you can throw a bait a long ways, but you can't control it. And time you're throwing a bigger bait, you typically wanna be able to control it, you're thrown to a target. You can't control it so much with the spinning as you can with the bait caster. You're able to feather the line and be a little more accurate with it. One of the common mistakes I see people make is buying too cheap of a bait caster. There's a lot of moving parts on a bait caster. Make sure you do your research here on the website and check out and look at what bait caster fits you and what one you can afford the best.